official arm of Resorts Casino down in Atlantic City, which was actually the first casino outside Nevada, first licensed casino outside in America, outside Nevada. So, so a bit of history there. You mentioned that you'd like to see it, you know, perhaps used in retail payments or something, just some sort of proof that other people are, are, are doing these things. Right? Yeah, and, and I think not just other people doing it, but the, but, but the consumer being happy yeah. with it as well. I kind of almost think maybe that rather than the, the, the actual Bitcoins themselves or the cryptocurrencies themselves, it could be, you know, blockchain could come first, maybe, you know, on some of the kind of loyalty payments or the way yeah. we account with our systems. iGaming would be online gambling. So instead of going into a physical casino, uh, you would be participating in those same types of games from the comfort of your own home, whether it be on a desktop computer or your mobile device. And where does Bitcoin fall into this mix? Uh, in several places. So a lot of people, when thinking of cryptocurrency, every time you use the word Bitcoin, it's, oh, it's a means of payment and getting money into the game. Yes, that is one area that we're looking at. But more importantly, we're really looking at this from a platform perspective. Short order, you start to see the, uh, the, the convergence of land-based and online uh, on a, a common platform. That's uh, Bitcoin SP. I think our head is in both places. I think there's a, a large market for people that want to play with the, the, uh, the, to the token um, and people that want to play with the, uh, the underlying cryptocurrency. So yeah. it's, it's in both places. Sure. We, I, we don't need to choose because the commonality is the blockchain. <laughs>